Okay, tubes, it's the next day. I have to tape up this tire right here again. I do have a little bit of wind, unfortunately, but in some sense, the wind is kind of good because it keeps the bugs on the ground. And the bad part is it makes it harder for the spray to actually get on the car. So that's that's the only real bad thing about it. But uh, before I get over here and spray that clear, I wanted to show you this pearl again, which I'm just really happy with the way that it, it really laid down and everything. So... Pretty happy with that. Still have to go get some uh, some canned air and knock and dust this off. This morning I had to come out here real early and actually wipe the dew off the car because there was actually dew on it, and I wanted to wipe it off so it wouldn't dry and leave water spots, you know, with any dirt or dust that blew in it. So I did that real early this morning. So that's one of the things about painting a car outside in your driveway is you have you have to deal with some of the weather elements and you also have to deal with uh, uh, dirt and dust and just little things in the in the paint that are gonna it's gonna happen it looks like I got a little bit of striping right here I don't know why because I have hit this like four or five times so uh, it seems to be fine up in here there's that one little spot I thought I got rid of it I guess I didn't this I already knew about uh, there was a couple of spots up in here that we didn't really get rid of, but we're just not going to worry about it. Like I said, it's just we need to we need to get this done, and we're running out of time, and my son needs his car to drive, so we're just not going to worry about the the little imperfections. I mean, this is not a primo car, anyways, but we wanted it to make look halfway decent, and frankly, uh, as a uh, you know, I'm not even sure that stripes. I think that may just be uh, where it was a little drier when I put it down. So we'll see when I put the clear on it. Anyways, uh, as, as far as an amateur goes, um, bodywork amateur. It's our first, uh, my first quarter panel. Uh, big welding, like I said, this is, uh, all this right here is new metal here from here over and here up. And this is the original car. And... You can't even you can't even tell I'm just like this is uh this is uh, the sealer we put in here this is original sealer this is the sealer we put in this is original sealer down in here so yeah I just overall I'm just really uh, really happy with the way it turned out in this a pillar uh, we had a, we welded a patch in here after we cut it out. We welded a patch in here after we cut it out, a big one about like that. And we welded a small patch in here, a little triangle one. And I'm just I'm just really happy the way it turned out. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, it's a little low right here, and it was a little low right here, or this was high. I'm not sure how to really explain it let me see if i can show it up on camera so you know it's not perfect but overall i am just i'm just really really happy with the way it's turning out and i knew it could be done i knew that uh it was possible to uh, spray paint a car with uh, aerosol cans but i i I just didn't realize how nice it could actually turn out. I've read, I actually read about it in a book back in the 80s that it could be done. And I figured with the new paint advances, it'd probably turn out even better. And so far, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. Well, I'm sitting here yammering along, and I, I need to get this thing painted. Uh, the uh, And I've washed and de-oiled my hands and everything. But uh, I've uh, I checked the temperature, and it's... It's just under a hundred degrees, so I need to get this done before the temperature goes up much more than a hundred. I'm sure there's a little safety margin in there, but I don't want to push that too much. And if I don't do it now, then I'll ha I won't be able to do it till later, and then it'll be hotter. So then I'll have to wait till the afternoon, and I want this paint to cure because Tuesday, 
Tuesday it's not supposed to rain, but there's a 10%, but Wednesday there's a 100% chance of rain. And I need to get these doors back on and get all this area and stuff all sealed back up. So I need to get on this. So enough of this portion of the video. So I'm going to going to go ahead and get my uh uh my clear coat, two part clear coat and get her done. Preparation, I got uh, some isopropyl alcohol, 91 proof. Put it on a paper towel, wiped down my hands real good all over it. Wearing a long sleeve shirt, keep the paint off me. Uh, I have my respirator. I have not been impressed with this res respirator, by the way. Um, it leaks, so I'm going to have to be careful using it. It's better than nothing, and I don't have time to go out and buy a new one, research it and everything. Uh, here's the paint. You basically shake it for two minutes. You activate it and you shake it for another two minutes. And then you spray. <laughs> so it's real hard. All right, so what I've done is I've uh, taken a can of air and I have blown everything off that I can. All the way down in here. Uh, there's a fly. <laughs> wow. He just decided to just kind of get up there in my stuff and blew everything out real good all over the car up in the up in the cracks especially screw holes and stuff like that or body mount holes and one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to turn this upside down while you're spraying because then you get you'll get propellant and you don't want that stuff in your paint so did all this when the can starts to get cold in your hand, go get another can. Because what happens is, uh, the pressure inside drops. Hear the difference? The other one was kind of, you know, just really slow after a while. Then this one stayed. This one's now strong again. Boy, I just, for whatever reason, I got flies everywhere here. Makes me wonder if I should be painting today. I'll have to keep a real close eye on that, I guess. All right, it looks like, you hear that rattle in the background? That's my uh, that's my wife, she came out and decided to shake cans for me. All right, and I did all this, made sure everything's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish treating my hand again, and then I'm gonna go just give the car a body wipe down with my hand, just see if I can feel any imperfections or anything that I can take care of before I put the clear on. Then when I'm done with that, then I'm gonna blow it off again and then I'm gonna shoot.